Welcome back from spring break, everyone. UWA will be offering a new innovative communications degree this fall. We will tell you more about that and lots of other campus news on this week's Tiger Paws. Let's get started. UWA students are still recovering following participation in the 2012 Oozball Tournament. The annual Mud Pit Volleyball Tournament, hosted by the Sigma Pi fraternity, is known for bumps and bruises. This year's event raised over $200 to help build a wall on campus that will recognize Greek activities and philanthropic events. Would you like to learn more about the media? Do you hope to have a career in sports communication, social media marketing, or public relations? Then you might be interested in a new major that will be offered by UWA this fall. Hannah is in Wallace to give us the scoop. The Alabama Commission of Higher Education approved the University of West Alabama's new integrated marketing communications degree. UWA is the only university offering the new innovative communications major in the state and will go into effect fall 2012. The integrated marketing communications degree will allow students to have a hands-on experience while learning marketing tactics. UWA has designed a new innovative communications degree called integrated marketing communications that will combine the hands-on communication skills with the principles of marketing. The major will involve 28 communication hours and 15 marketing hours and a few social science classes and will start this fall at UWA. For more information, contact Dr. Amy Jones at ajones at uwa.edu. Thanks, Hannah. Rest was needed during spring break for the members of the Godspell cast who gave impressive performances nightly on campus. We spoke with director Arthur Grothy for an inside look. Let's hear what he had to say about the cast and performances. This show is a revival of a production that has been around for about 42 years. And it's actually recently just been revived on Broadway. And it's a musical that started in the late 1960s, early 1970s, as actually a college project. Our production is very lively, filled with lots of energy. Our students have done a great job in preparing for this, both in the band and on stage. Their efforts have really shown this past weekend. In academic news, several UWA students have reported confusion with the online registration process. Now to DeVito with the step-by-step -step process all students need to know. To register for classes, you go to RevAdvisor, log in with your student ID and password, click student, click plan courses, click create a worksheet, confirm your program, put the subject you want to take, select the course numbers, Select the time you want to take them in. Go back to the main menu. Email your advisor. After your advisor has approved the classes, go to plan courses. Click register. Check to find the sections you want to take. And then set up your schedule. Thanks, Davida. <coughs> According to the UWA Campus Police, the SNAP program has reopened after making necessary repairs to the SNAP golf cart. The program began a few semesters ago to provide students with safe transportation to and from classes at night. To request a SNAP escort, students should contact 205-652-3602 between the hours of 6 p.m. and 1 a.m. We could not have asked for better spring break weather here in Livingston. Now to Tierra to find out if our forecast for Chan will continue <coughs> through this week. I know you've enjoyed the weather these past few weeks, and I have even more good news for you. Our mild summer-like temperatures will continue with highs in the 80s. You can anticipate scattered thunderstorms on Wednesday, but you will need sunscreen every other day. Now that's a happy forecast. Now to Verdi with an inside look at the UWA football team. Thanks, Sierra. The weather was also nice for the, well, interesting spring football practice. As many on campus know, UWA has two returning quarterbacks with a lot on the line. I spoke with head coach Will Hall, who described the process of choosing which quarterback will serve as the starter for the 2012 season. Well, we're in a fortunate situation because we've got two guys that can really play. We feel like we're going to have the two best quarterbacks in the conference on one team. What we're going to do is uh, split the reps right down the middle in spring ball for 15 practices and let them compete and see how it turns out from there. Uh, you know, both of them are great competitors. Both of them are tremendous football players. Nothing like a little competition in spring practice. Thanks, Verdi. 
That does it for this week's Tiger Paws. Join us next week as we discuss how UWA students are helping with the fight against cancer. Have a great week, everybody.